shouldn't be a big surprise to anybody. 20 gauge, 16 gauge, 12 gauge, that's 10 gauge, 2 and 7 eighths inch. But then, what some of you may not have seen before, 8 gauge. That thing is massive. So, it's a pretty decent sized little gun until you see an 8 gauge. Which is absolutely massive. So, you kind of get a feel for the difference when you look at the breeches. <laughs> My god, that thing is huge. Yeah, it's a big boy. You could use it as a club if you ever needed to. You could. It's, I don't, I've actually never weighed this one, but it's got to be 15 pounds, 12 pounds, something like that. Good Again, god. You get a real idea for the size when you look at it from the back. Holy crap. Yeah, that is humongous. So, we'll put this little pitch quick away for a minute. <laughs> Richards, obviously, that's not the manufacturer. I have a feeling they were playing on the uh, popularity of the Wesley Richards from England. But I believe it's 34 inch barrels. Uh, these guns are a lot of times used for market hunting wild fowling, geese, ducks, stuff like that. I believe this one came from the Chesapeake Bay area, so that would fit right in. But uh, anyway, let's shoot a little bit. Heck yeah! Eight gauge. Again, if you haven't seen this before, a lot of these had the top lever, which you're familiar with. Some of these Belgian guns, some of the French ones too, had an under lever. Take this giant shell. Close it up, pull your lever back for true. External hammer gun, the way most of these were set up is the right barrel and hammer, right trigger, left barrel and hammer, left trigger. Huge mongus. So let's try that cantaloupe first. Oh, cantaloupe. Let's do this thing. Oh my God. Now these are pretty mild loads for an 8 gauge. Obviously, it's black powder. Um, I did not stoke these up as far as I could have. So let's try a 2 liter. <laughs> Gotta love the smoky. Good lord. Try that far 2 liter. I think it worked. Actually shoots real nice. How's the recoil with how heavy it is? Well, I mean, it shoots real nice if you enjoy recoil. <laughs> <laughs> Got a few others loaded up. Shoot that pan, Shoot left side of the pan. log. See if we can blow it off that log. Left barrel. All right. I don't know, I think it may have bent it a little bit. I think we have something there. Huh? Hang on one second. Alright, Mr. Cantaloupe, your days are numbered. You got the 8 gauge with some buckshot against uh, the cantaloupe. You are no match for the cantaloupe. Mercy, that was beautiful. All right. Well, now our target has a helmet on, so we're going to see if that helps him out or not. Yeah, that probably will help. I don't think he made it. No, he's gone. Versus those two plays. Oh, he is a coward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's try a little bit of 
Rowan. He's going to be shooting. This is a old fashioned. Remington hand launcher. Okay. You know, you need to practice up in case you want to take the egg. Eight gauge dove hunting. Yeah, that's true. If you want to make sure you kill it on your first shot. Alright, let's see if this works. Ready? Boom! Yeah! I guess Terrible. if you miss with an eight gauge, although I better not say that yet. <laughs> Close your eyes and shoot it then. Be a man. Bad throw, but he still got it. Oh my gosh. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Glory, glory, hallelujah. That was perfect. That's alright. I got it on the GoPro, I believe. Oh. Here we have the 8 gauge. Do a little side shot just to show you how pretty this thing is. You can see the patterns in the barrel, how it was made, the twist pattern. beautiful gun okay this is our channel it's called brothers go boom this is Zach I am Steven and we go boom and we just shot the 8 gauge Zach what was the 8 gauge again? Uh, an 8 gauge pretty big pretty big W Richards Belgian hammer 8 look how big this thing is massive as usual but anyways that's not a big deal um, I know you guys probably have a lot of questions like uh, why is he wearing shorts and boots But uh, we have a ton of guns we're going to be showing. Not just this one, but tons, tons more. So stick around and uh, comment, let us know what you think. Thanks.